All right, let's talk about the uh, the frame picker option, which uh, now exists in uh, well, I guess all future versions of Adobe Animate. Uh, if you're if you're coming from uh, still using Adobe Flash, uh, this is uh, not going to be an option. Although there was a extension called uh, I think it's Keyframe Caddy that uh, was pretty much the same thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, this this makes uh, kind of hot swapping out symbols a little bit easier. In the last video where we talked about the, the difference between uh, graphics graphic symbols and movie clips. Uh, we we kind of touched on this a little bit. We looked at uh, the swap symbol option. Maybe we did that two videos ago. Uh, but this is this is kind of like an easier way of, of, of doing some quick symbol swapping. So you can see that I've got a, uh, a graphic clip over here. All right, note it's a graphic uh, instance of I. Okay, and if I double click inside of this, I've actually got two frames inside of here. All right, so I've got this kind of uh, Looks like a kind of like jokey looking eye, like he's laughing. And then just the normal eye over here. So that's on frame one, two, that's on frame one, right? Got it. And I'm gonna go over here to the um, use frame picker. Uh, note though that the options for this are not set to loop, it's just set to single frame. So even if I scrub through here, it, uh, it's not changing uh, the uh, to, to frame two. So I go over here to frame picker and you'll see that uh, I've uh, it's now showing me the, the different frames that are inside of this graphic clip. How cool is that? So let me jump over here now to frame two, go select this again, and I'm gonna to toggle on create keyframes that actually makes a keyframe for me when I go and I press this, right? So you'll notice that that keyframe appeared and now I've swapped uh, to this other symbol, but uh, you know, going back obviously on frame one, it's still got the other uh, eye, which is exactly what we want from this. So I do the same thing over here. So it becomes this really neat tool for uh, basically creating a, an interior library within elements uh, that you can just quickly go through and animate. So for example, now like the eye, obviously this doesn't gel well with the, the um, you know, the, the pupil or the back of the eye like this, the pupil doesn't work that well. So what I would want to do is, well, well, one problem here is these are both movie clips. Let's put some of the graphic clips. Okay. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, double click inside of here. Let's go make an alternate uh, version inside of this timeline now for the pupil. So I'm going to hit F6 and I'm going to zoom in a bit. So I do this the right way. I'm just going to select across there. I'll just pull that down slightly like so. Maybe, there we go, re-arc that just a bit. And, uh, and so now I've got a, a pupil that would work well uh, with that eye. And uh, you'll notice, let's see. So let's go and, and fix this one up, right? So on this frame, obviously I want that. And I want that one to be like this. Maybe move it around a little bit. Uh, but then back over here on this keyframe, now everything's looking fine again. Go back, right? So just a real quick way of swapping stuff out. And you can see that you do have the option to, um, you know, whether or not you want to create a, a keyframe when you swap these guys out. So for example, I could jump over here to frame 10 and uh, let's see, go back and Oh, well, you know what the problem here is I actually have to this set the loop. We don't want that. There we go. Okay. So now when I'm out here, if I went and I clicked on one again, you can see that, oh, well, it had keep create keyframe on. Let's turn it off. There we go. Now it's gone back and it's basically set this all the way back to that keyframe over there. So all sorts of fun ways you can use that, right? And uh, that, I think, is going to about do it for the new frame picker option. And definitely one of those things that Adobe is giving us for animators, okay? <laughs> they, didn't, they changed the, the name of the program from Flash to Animate for a reason, to give us more animation tools, and that is definitely one of them.